Good day, everybody. As I said in my last video, or at least I think I did, a lot of the work in building an aircraft from aluminum anyway is cleaning the aluminum, making sure everything is nice and smooth. Um, also, in my last video, I said there was like five hours worth of work done. I think that was more like two and a half. Um, so I've decided to take some liberties with the frame rate in these videos because it's going to be a long slog. So I'm going to speed up anything that's just metal prep work to pretty high speed, um, somewhere around, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. But, yep, it's, uh, it's a lot of filing and whatnot. I did the shaping in the previous video, now I'm just filing the edges down, cleaning them up, getting everything sort of prepped for uh, a little bit of primer that's going to go on some of the pieces, others there won't be any. Our stiffeners in front of the camera, the bottom rib out at the front of the table where I am, and then that's the main rudder spar. But I just put those Clecos in. Those Clecos are little metal fasteners that go through holes and hold, hold you know, two pieces of metal together via a hole. I can show you one in another video. Uh, but yep, yeah, putting those in, making sure everything's aligned, then using the uh, Great Flute Reamer to um, final drill the holes to make sure that they are where they should be when the pieces are clamped together. So that way when you rivet them together, they will be nice and um, smooth. More metal cleaning, more hole cleaning. You gotta clean every hole that was drilled. You gotta clean both sides of each hole. It's kind of ridiculous. Got a couple of different tools for the job, but man, is it just, it's a lot of work. <laughs> oh yeah, my wife's selling her car. So we had to take the plate off. And I think I'm working on the top rib and the counterbalance rib here. Doing a little bit of uh, Dremel sanding on those edges so that way they fit into the skin really nicely. And uh, I think this is on to the next day. Uh, yep. So I'm gonna take the uh, blue stuff off the skins and then do the edge deburring on all of those. Um, this is just, yep, edge deburring with the file, first run the file over it, and most of the time you can sort of feel where the burr is, you might not have to do as much work on one side as the other side. That was a call out to do a dimple in the skin at one point because you can't get to it later. And uh, I'll do that on this second skin as well, once I'm done deburring the edges of it. Oh, I had to cut that. Something on tab two. All right, so this is a little bit of reassembly. I guess I should have slowed this down. Um, it's not final assembly, it's just sort of a pre-assembly to make sure everything's gonna sort of fit. Um, and then let's see. Oh yeah, we got to figure out how we're going to fit that lead weight in the counterbalance so that way it uh, it balances the mass of the rudder. So we have to countersink it and make and then counter. You know, I made a little d dimple piece of uh, metal to see how it would fit in there. Then we're going to start scuffing up the spar and I believe yep, scuffing up all the stiffeners to finish the prep for primer. Thanks for joining me and see you next time.